Greetings and welcome to Prayer for America and the Nations. I'm Walter Zagarevich with Global Vision Ministries. And I'm Nina Zagarevich. And we have our special guest and frequent co host, mm -hmm. Reverend Tonia March Abram. And you who have joined us today, thank you for joining us. Please share this broadcast on your social media. And we want to welcome all of those who are watching us on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Telegram, on Rumble, on our webpage, wherever you are watching. Thank you for joining us and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. I'm just sharing the broadcast and I want to encourage all of you to share the broadcast. And I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas, not a Merry, but a blessed Christmas. Amen. Tony and Marge, welcome. Praise the Lord. We also want to wish you a blessed Christmas and a more blessed new year uh, than you've had before. And so today we're so thankful for celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. What a wonderful savior we have as we read the word and realize what Jesus has done for us. We just are so thankful to him that he came into the world. And we trust today you'll be blessed by the words we speak and share with you that Jesus Christ is there with you. He is the Emmanuel God with us. Yes, and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I think we need to remember uh, about Jesus' birth. Uh, it wasn't uh, under the tree. It was on the tree where he really paid the price. He paid the price for you and me uh, when, he, when he died in our place. He took the punishment. We're free from it if we receive his finished work. And if you don't know how to do it, I want to tell you before this broadcast is over, you can have your name also written in his book of life. And uh, one day uh, he's going to read from it. We're going to all be in his presence. But right now uh, we are just celebrating the birth of Christ, the living Savior, the Messiah, the one who came to seek and to find you and me and as we call on his name he's there to receive us just the way we are and we're glad to be here with uh, walter and nina Amen. uh dear friends for many many years and but i'm looking at them and they don't seem to get older uh well uh, marge don't like this by type of english but they're looking gooder and gooder. Yes. God bless you. It's a joy to be here and to share with you the good news. We're here with not bad news, but good news. And we'll hear more of as the as the broadcast gets on going. Well, Amen. Well, wonderful. Amen. Well, thank you, Tony and Marge. We appreciate you both. And we wish you a very blessed new year and health and strength and God's provision in your life. And we believe what the word says that he renews our strength like the eagles. Our youth is renewed. So he's renewing your youth as well. You know, um, I want to share, um, Marge shared this on um, Sunday night, I believe, Isaiah chapter nine, and it says, for unto us, a child shall be born, or he has been born, to us, a son shall be given, and the government shall be on his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And, you know, as I was praying this morning and asking God what I should share. And he said, there's a lot, I felt in my spirit, there's a lot of people that don't have the peace of God in their lives and they're just struggling and they just are distracted of what the enemy is doing around them. They're distracted by the storm around them. You know, we read that in the Bible where Jesus was asleep during the storm and the disciples were so scared and distracted and thinking they were going to drown. And here's Jesus is sleeping in the storm and at total peace and total calm. And that's what God wants for you. He wants you not to be distracted by the things around you. He wants you to live in complete peace. And um, here's a gift that he's given us found in John chapter 14, verse 27. It says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. 
And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. And you know that we find in Isaiah also chapter 26 that he keeps us in perfect peace when our mind is stayed on him. So don't focus on the storm around you, focused on him and him only, because you'll be able to navigate through any circumstance life throws at you. So be at peace, be at calm, know that God is for you and not against you. Amen. Tony. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, I'm rejoicing in the God of my salvation. But March, I wanted you to read those scriptures uh, first before I share a little bit here today. Yes, praise the Lord. Uh, this is, I'm reading some scripture from Hebrews chapter 10, this wonderful chapter of uh, promises of God. And uh, it's, I'm reading from the fourth verse. And it says, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh unto the world, he saith, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and, and sacrifices for sin thou hast no pleasure. Then said I, Jesus is saying this, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. Above when he saith, sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then he said, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Again, Jesus says, he taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. He took away the first covenant, that sacrifice uh, for sin with bulls and goats, and he gave his own life for us. And he's, it's just I wanted just to read a couple more promises from the same chapter, because it's so wonderful. He came to do the will of the Father. Aren't you glad Jesus said, not my will, but your will be done? Mm -hmm. And then a reading in verse 23, he says, the word says here, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with water. Let us hold fast for the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful, that promise. He is faithful, the promise. And there's one more. I, I love to read this chapter in these verses. It says, verse 20, verse 35, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. So we want to do the will of God, just as Jesus said, not my will, but your will be done. So I'm so thankful for the sacrifice Jesus made. He came into the world. He left the glory he had with the Amen. Father in heaven and came down to this earth. Aren't you thankful today? Walter and Nina, we are so thankful. We're thankful to be with you today and to share what God has given to us. And all oh, his wonderful promises that he has for us. Yes, Nina, he has wonderful peace for us. Oh, we are so blessed as believers. We are so blessed because Jesus paid it all. Praise the Lord. Amen. And at this time of the year, I know there's so much emphasis on, on gift giving and uh, all celebration parties, office parties. And a lot of things are done that really aren't really celebrating the birth of Christ. Uh, I think that we need to have a more of an emphasis. I know just a couple of years ago that uh, there was such a move. Uh, there's a move in Canada right now that you can't wish people Merry Christmas. Well, what is it? Is it, uh, are we going to go back in the pagan times when uh, they worship the changing of the seasons. Oh, no. I think we need to 
uh, be worshiping the King of Kings and Lord of Lords who came into this world. He, he, the scriptures tells us that he became poor for our sakes, that we through his poverty might be made rich. And the greatest of all the riches is knowing him as Savior, Lord, and Master. And of course, this broadcast, even though we are praying for the nations, praying for America, praying for Canada and all the nations, yet, yet the main thing is that we are presenting Christ to the world because he came not just to be a babe in, in, in Bethlehem, but to be the savior of the cross. And, he, and thank God, not only did he pay the price for us, but he conquered hell, death, and the grave. And the babe of Bethlehem became the savior on the cross, and he became the savior that conquered hell, death, and the grave, and he rose up. And yet, as we look back, and as we read the scriptures, like Matthew one twenty one, where it says, and his name shall be called Jesus. For what reason? It's because he would save people from their sin. And there yeah. is no other name like his name, the name mm. of Jesus. <clears throat> for the Bible tells us Who's in Romans 10 13 that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved? Now, you can call on the name of the saints, you could call the name on uh, the mother, earthly mother of Jesus, on Mary, and you could call on all these. You can call on the name of the popes. You can call on the name of all the preachers. But there's only one name that will bring salvation. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it's in his name that we have answered the prayer. Uh, when it's in Colossians 4.17. It tells us that this name not only was given... Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read it, Marge. I'm yes. just gonna uh, talk about it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, here in in mm -hmm. in, in Colossians four seventeen, it tells us that this name that is given is so powerful that everything in word and deed, word. Okay, we pray in the name of Jesus to get an answer to prayer. But every deed, now people sometimes come to me. Uh, for example, uh, we know that there are many things that cause harm to these bodies. And once you have Christ, your body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. And sometimes I, I have a question about smoking. Is it a sin to smoke? Uh, is it a sin to drink? I ask you the question like a politician. I answered by asking another question. Uh, can, can you say, as you look at something that you're in doubt about doing, would Jesus do this? There was, oh, back maybe 40 years ago, there was quite a movement amongst people or amongst Christians uh, what would Jesus do this? What would Jesus do? And uh, I think you'll find the answer. For example, like smoking, uh, would Jesus do it? I just can't picture Jesus with a big cigar or uh, coming up to someone or a cigarette and uh, saying, here, hold this while I heal this person. No, I can't imagine that. And, uh, of course, I have some silly expressions. <laughs> I have said this. And uh, for you that may smoke, uh, uh, 
I, I don't want to be offensive, but this is what I've said. I said, well, is smoking a sin? Uh, well, I don't know if it is or not. I think it's harm to your physical body, as science tells us now. But uh, it, <laughs> but smoking, uh, well, it one thing it does do, it makes you. I don't. I'm not saying it sends you to hell, but it makes you smell like you may have gotten pretty close that you came from there. <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> Whatever we do in life from the time we are saved, I'm talking spiritual life, we do it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when we do it in the name of Jesus, you'll never, you'll never be wrong. Praise the name of the Lord. So at this Christmas season, it's, it's not about Santa Claus climbing down the chimney. I, by the way, he's, He's kind of fat to come on down. <laughs> but uh, it, we need to emphasize that it's the birth of Christ, the one that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall be saved. And uh, isn't that wonderful to know that? Whosoever. That means you, me, it means everyone. <clears throat> now, does he is he partial to some group of people? Is he partial to people of color? Uh, what if you're an Indian? What if you're you're uh, you're Sorry. an African? Whether you're a European, does it matter what shade you are? My, it doesn't matter. Because God loves you. He loves saint. He loves sinner. But we show our love to him by receiving him. And remember that authority of that name. Because it is in his name we pray. It's in his name that we are saved. It's in his name. I have seen thousands of people brother walder he has seen thousands of people healed over the years of his ministry too and uh his his wife as she prays with him they have seen answer to prayer but it's never been in the name of a saint you can line up all the saints that ever lived but they don't bring salvation or healing it's the name of Jesus. And Walder has seen it. I have seen it. And our wives have seen it. And never, I know people have come to me sometimes in our crusade and years ago, uh, and, and they would say, uh, Brother Tony or Brother Abram, uh, heal me, heal my baby. Well, I couldn't heal a fly if it had a headache. I put it out of its misery with its fly swatter. But uh, there's only one name, the name of Jesus. Amen. And does he turn you away? No. At this Christmas season, uh, he says, come on to me. Come on to me. And him that cometh to me, I shall no wise cast out. Brother Walter, have you ever seen anyone cast away? You've been in big crusades. You've worked with some of the biggest ministries in, in, in this world, like Morris Cirillo and others. You have translated for them. Uh, you have helped them. I know that uh, there has been uh, evangelists that you have uh, worked with on a platform. And when it, even when they was using other uh, translators, when it came to pray the prayer of faith for the sick to be healed, they would sit the other one down and call you forward because you're a man of faith and power. And God Amen. has blessed you. He's not only blessed you with a fine family, a fine wife that stands be beside you and believes with you, works with you, has a vision you have. You are blessed. And 
and and and as you have spoken and as you have ministered it's been in the name of jesus this ministry global vision you don't do it in your own strength it's mm -hmm. not in that you don't even have your name <laughs> Uh, in the in your call, it's global vision, uh, ministries, uh, and uh, mine is uh, Tony Abram Crusade, Abundant Life Crusade. That's right. <laughs> yes. I don't. I guess my name's not in it either, because we want to lift up the name of Jesus, and at this Christmas season, uh, I I know you guys are doing it, and you're blessed, and and I trust that people will take time to pray for you too i know that uh, uh as, as nina was talking to us just before the program began that uh, she finally got to sleep as late as seven o'clock they've been suffering from jet lag uh since they got back from their successful when i say successful because the blessings of god yeah. were upon them when they were in lisbon and they were in Portugal. Uh, of course, Lisbon is in Portugal. And they were in different parts of of, uh, of Spain. <laughs> and I get a kick out of uh, Nina the other day saying uh, what it was so cold in the rooms that uh, she ended up uh, not only with all these other clothes, she even had her uh, jacket, big, uh, big coat on underneath the <laughs> the, the covers, uh, and we know that too, don't we, yeah. Marge? Yeah. And uh, yes, well, praise the Lord. And who they do they do it for? For Jesus. Yeah. Am I right or am I wrong? And I'm turning it back to you. <laughs> praise God. But absolutely, we need to lift up the name of Jesus. There is no other name as the name of Jesus. And every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. In fact, the Bible says in Philippians 2, verse 9, there, therefore God also has exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, every name, the name of any person, the name of any country, the name of any disease, the name of any need or problem or mountain that you might be facing. The name of Jesus is higher. So we're speaking the name of Jesus over you, over your life, over your home, over your family, over your circumstances. Just begin to do then and begin to speak out the name of Jesus that name God, the Father, has highly exalted. He did it. The Father did. Not man, but God exalted. And we need to agree with God and exalt the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every knee, not some knees, every knee should bow of those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth. And that every tongue Confess, should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Well, that is what we do in this Christmas time. We exalt the name of Jesus. There is no other name like this name. And so right now, as you're facing difficulties, as you're facing trials and, and circumstances, maybe you're facing giants in your life right now, and your situation may seem insurmountable. <clears throat> it is not insurmountable. Jesus' name is above every other name. Amen. Brother Tony, would you lead people to Christ right now? This is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. <laughs> there is no great, right now, I mean, there, there, sure, you might try to uh, put it off, but the Bible says today is the time, the accepted time. And right now, Jesus would stop making worlds to hear the cry of one of the least of the children. And he, he's he hearing you right now as you ask him to come into your heart and into your life. Oh, I'm, go I'm going to lead you. We call it the sinner's prayer. I know that's not written in the Bible, the sinner's prayer. 
but the but it does include the promises of God that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord would be saved. And it includes that where Jesus said, him that cometh to me, I shall no wise cast out. He won't cast you aside. And it includes that whosoever, that means you, that means me, whosoever. It means you that are in Africa that you may be listening. You that are maybe in Asia, that if you understand English, but in the, especially in the English speaking countries of the world, whether it's Australia, New Zealand, uh, wherever it may be, as you call in, in the UK, in Europe, and you're watching, I want to say this is your moment. God has you watching, listening at this moment that you may call upon the name. I mean, what greater gift can you receive from God? And what greater gift can you give back to the Lord? He gives you salvation as you give him your heart. Would you close your eyes? Get shut in with God. Lay your hand on your heart, if you would. Marge is going to repeat this prayer to help you after me. But mean it from your heart. And I tell you an authority of God's word, not Tony Abrams' word, not Walter Zagravich's word, but upon the word of God. On that authority, he will come into your heart and into your life. Your name will be inscribed in the book of life and no man can erase it because God puts it in. Hallelujah. I, I know this is not scriptural, but I believe the very blood of Jesus is what inscribes it because without the shedding of his blood, there is no remission of sin. And but whosoever shall call on his name shall be saved. So close your eyes. Pray this prayer sincerely. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. How precious is that name. How precious is that name. How precious is your gift to me. How precious is your gift to me. That you would come into this world. That you would come into this world. You became a man. You became a man. You suffered for me. You suffered for me. You shed your blood. You shed your blood. On the cross for me. On the cross for me. And Lord, today. And Lord, today. I open my heart. I open my heart. I open my life. I open my my life to you lord to you lord come into my life come into my life forgive my sin forgive my sin write my name in your book of life write my name in your book of life help me lord help me lord to live for you to live for you Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. I turn my back. I turn my back. On my past sins. On my past sins. Because I know, Lord. Because I know, Lord. That you wash me clean. That you washed me clean. Of all my sins. Of all my sins. Never to be remembered again. Never to be remembered again. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. As I call on your name. As I call on your name. I believe right now. I believe right now. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Is the Son of God. Is the Son of God. That he died for me. That he died for that me. That he rose again. That he rose again. And Lord and Lord from this moment from this moment with your help with your help I'm going to live for you I'm going to live for you I confess I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord that Jesus Christ is Lord that Jesus Christ is my Lord that Jesus Christ is my Lord Amen 
And now I'm praying for you. Heavenly Father, for every man, every woman, every young person, no matter where they are, whether they are in Denmark, whether they are in England, Lord, whether they are in Africa, no matter where they may be, Lord. Lord, I know that in many countries, people are trying to learn English, but Lord, they've tuned into this broadcast to learn English, to hear it spoken. And Lord, uh, they're now receiving a lot more than they ever expected. They are receiving the word of God, the promises of God. And as they call on your name, as they call on the wonderful name of Jesus, Lord, you're giving them eternal life. Oh, Lord, we thank you right now that people, many people, are receiving you, Lord, and help them. Help them to live for you, Lord. And as I give them a little more instruction, help me and help them to understand and receive the blessings of God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. And friends, you that have prayed this prayer, you may feel something lifted up from you, but that's your sins. And when you realize more and more, day by day, that Jesus is now a friend that sticks closer than a brother or a sister, that he walks with you, that he lives within you, as you realize that, it's going to become such a, such a wonderful growing experience. This is the beginning. Now, three things you need to do to help you to be an overcomer. There may be things in your life that you're going to have to overcome. And you think, oh, I can't do this. I can't. Maybe you're, you're, you're on drugs. Let me tell you this, if anyone's going to help you, it's the Lord. And, and if you're bound by things, God is your helper right now. He set, wants to set you free. Now, do three things. Start talking to him. Start talking to him like a friend. And second thing, let him talk to you. How? By by reading the Bible, get a New Testament at least, start reading, start with the Gospel of John, and and and, and you're going to grow because you're talking to him like a friend, start your day, I mean, if you know, if you've never prayed in your life, but start it, good morning, Lord, help me today, it may, it may be simple, a babe, baby born, doesn't come out and to have a speaks like he would have out of an encyclopedia. They speak, they learn to speak, and you'll learn more and more that friendship with Jesus will grow. And then he talks to you through the word. He speaks to your heart. And third, <laughs> get into a, a group of people that that know the Lord like you are learning. Where you have fellowship, get into a Bible believing church and, and grow in the spirit and let God fill you with the Holy Spirit. Amen. God Amen. wants to fill you to overflowing. Now I, I took a lot, a lot of time with this brother Walter, but I think it's important here at this Christmas season. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Absolutely. That is why we are here. It is to help guide people to a relationship with Jesus Christ, or maybe you're a prodigal. You walked away. You grew up in church. Maybe your parents are Christians, but you've never fully 
committed your life to the Lord. You said, oh, that's my parents' religion. That's their church activity. Uh, that's not me. You know, you're a marked person. Your parents had prayed for you. Others had prayed for you. And you did not tune into this broadcast by accident. God had you tune in here. So right now, if you have not yet prayed that prayer that Brother Tony just led you in, pray that. Just sincerely cry out from your heart and say, God, I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Come into my life. And he will. And if you walked away from the Lord, you can return back. Back to him. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So come to him right now. He is waiting for you with open arms. He will receive you. He will forgive your sins and cleanse you and make you that person he has created you to be. God does have a plan for your life. And that plan is to save you and to bring you into his kingdom. Well, uh, Tony, thank you for sharing, excuse me, for sharing that. And I just sense there are people out there that are struggling, people that are, as Nina mentioned earlier, that are, don't have peace in their lives. And we just speak peace over you right now. If you're that individual, you're hustling and bustling with everything that that's, uh, you know happens around this time of the year, but you don't have that peace in your heart. Just turn your life, turn your circumstances to God. Involve him in every area of your life. Involve him in your home. Involve him in your family, in your work in your circumstances. He wants to get involved, but he does not force himself in. So just open again your life and say, God, I can't do this alone. I want your peace. I want you and I want your peace. And when you get God, when you have the Lord, you will have his peace because he is the Prince of Peace. So just allow that peace of God, that shalom, that wholeness of God to overflow you right now in Jesus' name. And if you are in need of healing, some of you are uh, struggling with health issues. Uh, it could be COVID. It could be the flu. It could be uh, whatever uh, it may be. There's nothing impossible with God. We know there are some people with the fear of cancer or struggling with cancer or dealing with cancer. There are people dealing with other physical problems, whatever that problem may be. I want to pray for you right now. So would you lay your hand where you're suffering if you can? If there's that, if there's a sick person next to you, just put your hand on that person if you can. Uh, if you're praying for someone at a distance from you, lay our, your hand on your heart as a point of contact or uh, just take a napkin or a, a handkerchief and put your hand on it and then send that to them after this prayer. So Father, in the name yes, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, I come against every principality and ruler of yes, darkness Jesus. that is trying to destroy the lives of those who are tuning in right now. And I say no to those demonic spirits. Leave. Get your dirty hands off. And those troubling spirits, those lying spirits, uh, those spirits of infirmity come out and leave in the name of Jesus Christ. And that cancer dying come out right now in the name of Jesus. Christ and Father, may your healing virtue flow to people in the nations of the world who are tuning in right now. Those at the sound of my voice, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in that name. There is no other name like the name of Jesus. There is healing, salvation, forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Receive that right now. Say thank you, Jesus. I am healed. My heart is healed. The cancer is leaving right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And paralysis, you must go. Arthritis, you must go. Diabetes, go in the name of Jesus Christ. COVID, leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Move, be gone in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you would strengthen the immunity of people uh, in their bodies to resist and reject uh, every attack on them right now in the name of Jesus. And I 
pray that their bodies would just, their fighter cells would get strong and fight off those uh, uh, bad cells and those attacking viruses and diseases in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray that you're, and I believe that your resurrection power flows right now, expelling sickness, expelling disease, expelling cancer cells, and healing, creating new, can new cells, whole cells, healthy cells, and destroying cancer cells in the name of Jesus. Yes, I speak wholeness. I speak healing in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Receive your healing wherever you're at. Just put your hand where you were suffering and say, in the name of Jesus, I am healed. My knees are healed. My cancer is leaving in the name of Jesus. My body is the temple, the Holy Spirit, and the resurrection power of Jesus flows through me right now healing and destroying every sickness, weakness, and disease in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the power of yes, God is flowing. Yes, God is touching. Yes, God is healing. Yes, and some of you are feeling a warmth that is just coming over you. Yes, it is the power of God healing you right now. Some of you are, are just suddenly feeling that pain leaving. Some of you are are are, are just feeling lighter and, and, and just, just a change that is taking place. But I want you to do something where you are you are at unless you're driving and try to do what you could not do if you couldn't lift up your hand lift it up in the name of jesus if you couldn't walk get up and walk right now god is touching you god is healing you right there where you're at nothing is impossible with god just stretch out your faith right now stretch out your hand try to do what you the body tells you you were not able to do because jesus christ is Lord Jesus Christ is working right now in yeah. your life, in your body, in Jesus' name. I just sense I saw a person with um eye issue, like they have a white film over their eye. I'm not sure if it's right or left, but God is touching you right now. That film, that uh, clarity in that eye is going to return. You will see. Amen. So right now, wherever you're at, believe and receive right now your healing right now that, yes. that you had like a white uh, over your eyes will believe for clear pupils right now in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. I remember that baby in that crusade with Tony Marge Abram in Bolivia, that mother brought that baby with just eyes in that baby's eyes. So there was just white, uh, there was no pupils. And uh, before our very eyes, as she gave her life to Jesus, Jesus touched that baby, yes. healed that baby. Nothing is impossible. There's nothing impossible. Praise God. Praise God. Tony, Marge, maybe God is showing you something. There, there's someone with problems in their shoulders. Been bothering you a long time, especially your left shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just believe right now. That, that warmth that you're feeling is bringing that arthritis or whatever that is, is melting in Jesus' name. And then uh, the Lord uh, with the second witness or somebody uh, with or with Nina with the eye, I, I, while she was speaking, I felt the same thing. We just got a request uh, yesterday uh, for someone up in the north that is... Uh, uh, has been suffering with an eye condition. And I believe God is, yeah. that's the one that God is touching right now. And then there's somebody with, uh, that's having dialysis, mm -hmm. a special type of dialysis. Uh, and we send the word because God's healing power is there. I don't know if they're watching or not. Uh, uh, someone else is praying for them, but God is the healer. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. There's healing power. That was a powerful prayer being prayed, not by Walter alone, but people agreeing with him and people <laughs> praying for themselves, praying for the others. And the Bible says in James, uh, pray one for another that you might be healed. And as you're praying for someone else, that's giving. And if you give, it's given back to you. And what you are praying for, for someone else, that it comes back to you 
to be healed. So yes. receive your healing as you're praying for others that to be healed. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. also, I believe the Lord is touching Joanne now as she's having uh, root canal uh, surgery, a, a short surgery, she said. But it's about very soon uh, now that she will be having it. And we, In Jesus' name, we speak the word over Joanne. And we believe, Lord, that you're healing her. And she will have no more problems with the teeth as a result of the fall and also for our sister friend in England, Janet, who's had surgery on her tongue. She called it a virus on her tongue, but it seemed like it was a grosser. And we just find that thing in Jesus name that she will be completely healed. No cancer cells as brother Walter prayed. We agreed with him and we thank the Lord for those that are being healed as a result of the falls they've had in yes. Jesus' name, broken bones and yes. broken noses. And Lord, we thank you for healing and taking the pain away from Karen from for her nose and her mouth and her teeth. In Jesus' name, we just thank you, Lord, for healing these people because we've asked it in Jesus' name and we've agreed together in that wonderful name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you right now, Lord, and we receive we send the word to them and we, they receive from you in Jesus name. Your promises are yes and amen because we believe them. Amen. And as you were saying that, Marge, uh, I was sensing that uh, there was people that uh, so many people have called in or, or uh, notified us that they had fallen. And uh, we, we, I felt as you were saying that, that God, uh, has been healing those who have fallen, yes. some with broken bones. But it's yes. it's unbelievable, and you, we yes. we need to start standing on that scripture that uh, unto Him that is able to keep us from falling. Uh, there's but there's healing right now. People that have fallen, like Bev with a broken wrist. Uh, uh, yes. That's that's one and. And others, uh, in Jesus' yes. name, yeah. there, there's people being healed. Yes. As Walter Jesus. prayed that prayer, yes. God is doing it. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Well, the Holy Spirit is still working, That's and right. it, there's no distance in prayer. We're, we're we're praying from different states here in America, but you may be in Spain, you may be in Ukraine, you might be in the United Kingdom, there Manchester or London um, or elsewhere. You might be in uh, Germany or in uh, elsewhere in Europe. It does not matter. If they're in Sweden, in Denmark, uh, um, you may be in the Middle East and. Uh, North Africa or anywhere in Africa or Asia right now at the sound of my voice. God is speaking to you right now. God is healing you right now. Just mm -hmm. extend your hand to that, uh, uh, to the computer screen or, or the phone where you're watching and say in the name of Jesus, I receive my healing right now right now in Jesus name. And Lord, I thank you that you're touching. Yes, I thank, thank you that you're healing eyesight thank right you, now. Jesus. I thank you that you're healing somebody's nose. Thank uh, you, I Jesus. thank you that you're healing somebody's ear, um, somebody's throat, somebody's thank neck Jesus. in Jesus name. A heart thank condition you, is being thank healed you, right Jesus. now in the thank name you. of Jesus Christ. Uh, just uh, thank claim you. it right now. Say, Lord, I believe this is thank for me. Jesus. I am healed. My Shine heart is Lord. made whole. I've got a new heart in the name of Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Oh, glory to Thank God. You, God is moving. Thank God is you, touching Jesus. right now. Uh, you, you may be here in America. You may be in Canada. You may be in Cuba. You may be in Mexico, or Argentina, or Brazil. God is touching you right now. Receive your healing in the Bahamas. Yes. Uh, in the Antilles, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, yes, receive Jesus. your healing. Yes. yes Jesus, God is touching. Amen. The power of God is flowing. Yes, yeah. There is no distance in prayer and there's no distance to the power of God touching you right now in Jesus yes. name. Yes. Amen. I just sense that we should pray for couples 
We've had several uh, requests from Cuba, from here in the United States, couples that want children, but God has not given them any children. Their reproductive systems are just not producing. And maybe Marge, you can just um, pray over the couples that God would bless them with children that they want. Yes, praise the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, yes. Lord, for these couples that have yes, asked Lord. you for, Amen. Lord, for them to Lord, have Lord, a child, Lord. Lord. Lord, Lord. And Lord. Father, we just pray in Jesus' name yes. and we send yes. the word to them right now, Lord. Yes. I believe, Lord, that you want to bless them with a child because that is their real desire to have a child yes. to carry on their ministry jesus. their lives and yes. jesus name we pray yes. for them in jesus yes. name we yes. ask jesus. lord you will minister to these couples lord father yes. in yes. jesus name for that fruit uh that you want to give them in their lives lord yes. the blessings of god in their lives lord and we just ask in jesus name lord as we stand on your promise lord we ask anything in your name. You will do it. Thank you, Lord, for giving them the child they've asked for. Lord, Amen. we've seen you answer so many prayers for people around the world that wanted children, Lord. Yes, it was Lord. impossible for them to have children. Some of our relatives and friends, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the children you've given them and lord you've blessed them with father in jesus name we thank you for answered prayer we thank you lord for the desires of their heart in jesus precious name to be fulfilled and we ask this in the name of jesus and we give you thanks amen 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 amen, amen. 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 Thank you, Marge, for that. And if you are one of those couples, believe God and stand on his promise that he wants to bless you. He wants you to have children as well. So um, as Walter comes back on the set here, we want to pray for America. We want to pray for the nations of the world because this is the Prayer for America and the Nations program. And um, I want to start out with praying for America. As you all know, those of you that live here in America, we need God to intervene in the affairs of this country. We need him now. So agree together with me for this prayer for America. As you agree, maybe you're in Spain, maybe you're in Africa, agree for your nation that God would send a mighty revival. Amen. Amen. Many people are talking about uh, potential bad things happening this coming year. But you know what? We turn to God and God is in control. God can change the affairs of nations. God can change the course of nations. And we believe that God hears the prayers of his people. Amen. So let's agree yes. in prayer Amen. right now. So Father, as we celebrate your birth, may we be reminded of your great love towards us, giving us your son, Jesus, to rescue the world from darkness. Thank you for rescuing us, forgiving us, healing us, delivering us, giving us abundant yes. life and eternal life yes. with you, Lord. Father, we now pray for a rescue miracle for our country. We speak the name of Jesus over the United States of America. We need your supernatural rescue from the plans of the enemy, a divine intervention to right this country back to be that shining light once again, Lord. We are powerless without you. We are putting our entire trust on you to redeem this nation from destruction. We are asking for your mercy as we pray and intercede for the restoration of what the founding fathers stood for, one nation under God, indivisible with justice and liberty for all. Father, we ask that you send your justice to regain and to recover what the enemy has stolen from us. We speak justice to be administered to the United States of America and the plans of the enemy to be disabled and thwarted in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that the spirit of conviction to those in our nation promoting evil, send a mighty flood of the Holy Spirit. May the church rise up, may the parents rise up and say no to the demonic agenda confusing children's identity. May the church rise up with a loud voice of unity, pushing back all evil agendas. Wake up the church to its position of influence once again. We ask for revival fires to break out in every church and may it spread throughout the community. May churches experience your presence and glory once again. May hearts be aligned with your will and move in your power. 
bring that hunger and passion back to this nation to seek after you. May the outpouring of your spirit be experienced in all governmental agencies and to the state capitals and into the White House. Move by your Holy Spirit, Lord. We need a move. We need a move of your power. Release angel armies to stand guard over this country. Father, we thwart the enemy's plans of terrorism within our borders. Expose their plans and make it boomerang back to the evil ones. In this Christmas season, we pray and we believe for miracles to reach every home. We declare Psalm 91 over your people. Your promises, Lord, are our protection and they are our shield. We are thanking you in advance to the breakthroughs our nation so desperately needs in this coming year. We have prayed and we know, Lord, that you have heard us. We declare, Lord... Jesus over the United States of America. And we believe that America shall be saved in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Let's continue to pray and believe for America, for yes. the nations. Uh, let's continue to pray for Ukraine, yes. for Cuba, for Israel. Nepal, for India, for Israel. Yes. Father, we speak peace over the nation of Israel, yes, and we pray for an end to that war quickly, yes, and we yes, pray for the salvation of your people yes, in the name of yes, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that both Jews and Arabs would come Thank to know Jesus. Yeshua, would Thank come to know Jesus, Jesus as their Jesus. Messiah. Yes. And Father, we pray for the nation of Ukraine, for your yes. protection. We pray that this war, this senseless war would stop stop yes, now Lord, in the Jesus name of Jesus name. and we Lord we pray for yes Jesus. we bind those demonic spirits that are fomenting this war yes. and Lord we release peace into the region yes, and peace. Lord we pray for yes, those Lord, who Jesus. are in authority in that nation yes. for the Lord to make right decisions in Jesus yes, name amen, amen and amen, amen. praise God uh, Tony and Marge, our time has gone so quickly. Any final words before we close? I just want to say we continue to work in Ukraine where uh, we've sent help to buy presents for children, uh, help to continue providing humanitarian relief to the needy there. We've sent um, help to Nepal. There's some urgent needs there. We've sent help to Cuba we've, uh, so and to Africa. We want to thank those who support this ministry you have an opportunity, those that do not support this ministry, to sow into the mission fields of the world. And let me tell you, the harvest is ripe. There are many souls coming to Christ. In fact, thousands of souls have come into the kingdom thanks to these uh, things that I have mentioned. Uh, these people that we help and support, they're saving souls. They're bringing people to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So it is not just humanitarian relief that's being given out. The gospel is being preached and many are coming to know Jesus Christ. So I want to thank those that support of these efforts. I want to thank Tony and Marge and yeah. Abundant Life Crusades thank for you your so involvement much. and all that you've done and continue to do. And thank you for your great example as missionary statesmen who continue to labor for the Lord, continue to be an example to many, many younger people around the world. And uh, But if you want to sow into the nation, sow into the mission field, sow into the this ministry, uh, please go to our webpage right now. Don't put it off. Do it right now. Globalvisionministries.org. You will have options to give there by either PayPal, Givelify, or you can write a check to the ministry, Global Vision Ministry. Send it to P.O. Box 5377 El Dorado Hills, California, 95762 USA. Tony and March, thank you again yes. so much. A final uh, words here. Yes, um, we would. I just want to say I um, encourage you that are listening to help in this ministry of helps and and the needs for food and other things that are necessary. The heating and the heaters and all these things will continue to be. We help with those, and uh, I just. Uh, 
I think about Jesus, the will of God. What is the will of God? It is to help and feed the hungry. It is to love our neighbor as ourselves. So as we do this during this Christmas season, let us not forget to help and assist this ministry with our gifts and our giving and doing the will of God from our hearts in Jesus' name. I've learned as, as a fisherman, although I don't go fishing, <laughs> Uh, but I remember my father teaching me how to fish. And he said, you got to catch a fish. You got to put a worm on or a grasshopper or some type of lure on the end of the line before you throw it in the water. And what people have been sowing, what you uh, have been sowing through your ministry, that's why we, from our ministry, tried to uh, help uh in what you are doing well, i believe that you have been putting a bait on the end of the fishing line under in the net that you are casting out uh, into these countries and it is bringing people uh to christ that they're, they're being lured in maybe by some helps by some humanitarian reasons but it is causing them to come to the churches and they are filling the churches and it's bringing many to Christ. So as they sow, uh, it's giving you to bait to bring people into the kingdom. Now, you might have to think a little bit about it, but it's bringing them to the churches and the churches are winning them Amen. to the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> and uh, this is probably the last broadcast. We'll be with you before Christmas. And once more, uh, we wish everyone a Christ-blessed Christmas. Christmas. Yes. And a uh, happy new year. We'll probably see you before the new year. Uh, so God bless you. We love you. We appreciate your ministry Amen. and the vision that you have. God bless you. God bless all of you and Tony and Marjorie appreciate you and we we pray God's blessings upon you and everybody who's given. We appreciate all of you. We love you and we want to wish you a blessed Christmas, more of Christ. I think Christmas means more Christ, mas Christ, right? <laughs> and more of Christ. So focus on him and remember that Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is the same, same yesterday, yesterday, today. today. And, and forever. forever. God, God bless. richly bless you.